Hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all uh, to a mod follow-up of the Ultra Mega Seriously Hard Bloodbath Mode. Which does actually sound quite ridiculous when you put it into words like that, so... Ah, oh, we got Maggie! Why'd we get my Oh, she's bleeding from her eyes because of course she is! Wow! <laughs> okay! I mean... We'll see how this goes in green mode, though I think we probably could get away with not being Maggie, right? Like, like, we'll, we'll go again, because it's not that I've got anything against Maggie, per se. I just really don't like Maggie, which yeah, I know what you're thinking. Well, then that clearly means you have something against Maggie, and you know you you might would be. No, 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 this is it. Right here. <laughs> God damn it. Nope, I refuse. We see so much Lilith Green mode. Fourth time is the job. I know what you're thinking now. Rage, just choose a character. You don't need to live. Isaac will do. Everyone likes Isaac. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Good times. Good times. Ooh, look at that. Let's have a look in here. Ooh, well, ain't this just lovely? All right, let's grab ourselves a free Abaddon. That seems pretty solid. Then we'll just get three extra spirit hearts on top of that. And now we go. See, guys, easy. Fourth time's the charm. Couldn't have handled it better. Let's blow up that. We definitely want both of these, in fact. We've been offered some really good items to start with. Like, seriously, very good. Although, are the ones in here that good? I mean, actually, no, it's just this book, isn't it? So, we'll reroll that into Guppy's hairball. Yes! I think working on Guppy seems like a good idea. So, we'll get the Gupster. Do that. Go in here. Monstro's lung. Monstro's lung. I think we can Monstro's lung it up. I mean, yeah, I kind of like the idea of a great mode. Monstro's run. Monst, monst, monst in a one in a onesie. Monstro, Monstro in a onesie. Oh, what words am I using? Reroll them. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God. We are about to get a first floor gupster. In a hard mode, green mode. That's that's what I like to see right here. That is what I like to see. So without further ado, I believe it's time to fight the power. And that's a load of zombies to start with, but that's okay. We can handle that. Are these the ones that fire tears? Like, are these the reskins of the Cyclopses? They have so much health. And then the blue worms and my thing that even work on reflecting them. What are you doing, shield? You are supposed to reflect. Oh, there you go. You reflected that one. I'll, I'll give you credit for that. Does it it reflect it as your tier, or is it just a set strength that it resets? Or is it based on the enemy's tier strength? I don't actually... Uh, no, it could very much be either way. Though I am very much struggling to uh, kill the blue worms. Like, one of the saving graces of sniper worms is that they're very easy to kill. So when they're now ridiculously tanky, it's just insane. We're not even uh, close to the end wave either. Oh my god. I kind of almost want a black heart to go here, just so I can cleave through this room a little bit better. Oh, all right, we got rid of the spiders, the fly, and it's just that blue worm. We've almost got on top of things. Yes, we have. So it's just the wall spiders. This is pretty good so far, but I'll admit, even with me getting this incredible item on the first floor, this has been really ridiculous to manage to not die horribly. Bombs in the face. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. A um, little bit of a blue tint there. No. Uh, okay, that actually worked out surprisingly well, I, I guess. So, we'll grab this now, because then, freaking first floor guppy, what is up? And then we will go defeat our bosses to get ourselves m m monstro lung. And that is all very, very good. Someone needs to do a mod where this entire game turns into Mortal Kombat and uh, the like, and we just have all the characters, and, like, Brimstone becomes a sort of... Uh, 
Hey, Shuyuken. Is it Hadouken or Shuyuken? I forget which one is the actual beam. And I realize that's Street Fighter, not Mortal Kombat. But I was thinking fighting games in general. And then you could have, like, a get over here scorpion hook item that drags enemies towards you and then melee kills them. How good would that be? Also, how terrifying does that horseman look with his mouth open like that when he charges? That is horrific. All right, we'll grab ourselves Monstro's Lung and looking pretty good. The darkness of our tears is quite intimidating. Oh, look how cool he looks. He's so evil. He's just so evil. And the reason that I am obviously reactivating the Devil Deal is because now I can... Do I want to take... I actually think I want to take this. I think the Guardian Angel is actually kind of nice here, so we will accept that, and then we will move on with our lives. Although, actually, no, we won't move on with our lives, because I've forgotten a thing. Don't worry, I've now remembered the thing that I've forgotten, and that is, of course, the items over here. Can I can I squeeze Pat? No, please, please let me... I don't want to buy a key! Ah, that is fine. Can I use this again? That would be hilarious if you could just keep chain sleeping in the bed. I'm just really tired, okay? Honestly, I'm just exhausted, and I just... I need a kip, alright? I just... I need a kip. Please let me just sleep. Kip is a good word for sleep. How many words for sleep are there even? Kip, sleep, nap, snooze, rest... Is that it? I think that's it. I mean, based on that, I'd say Kip is definitely the most fun one to say. More Gupster, which we don't really care about. Tears Up is very, very, very good. No spacebar items actually might turn out to be very, very good on this green mode, so that makes me happy. Sacred Monstro's Lung! Don't mind if I do. Like, seriously, do not mind if I do. Spirit hearts, but not money from that. That is interesting. That's not what I expected at all, but I guess I will accept it. And a couple bits of moolah from here. Not enough to buy a key, unfortunately, but hang on. We get, well, some tear flies. We got that going. Speed down, not great. Bombs are key. Almost exciting, but then I remembered we don't actually have any bombs to become keys, so really that was just a massively pointless room. I actually, I may as well take that, you know, it's a health up, it's fine, we're not going to have the Polaroid in great mode here. So generally, things are going pretty nice. See, when they're flashing like that, the spiders, I'm like, they're constantly taking damage from just being alive, which would be cool, like, like, wouldn't it? I mean, if just spontaneously every enemy that spawned was just on fire a little bit, but at the same time, that might make things a little bit too... Uh, Easy. Here's a conundrum and a question that I've often found myself posing and uh, thinking about. If you had the power to choose a species of animal, and let's for now really refine it. So, for example, you couldn't choose spider, you would have to choose huntsman spider or black widow spider, like a, a really individual species. So you couldn't choose cats, you'd have to name either lions, domestic cats, ocelots, etc, etc. So if you could choose a single species, and then whichever one you choose, every single member of that species is immediately blinked out of existence across the world couple questions would you a oh that's pretty good we'll take the all stats up and the state the other two of course will reroll would you use that power would you actually choose one would you maybe go with wasps maybe wasps are fine like would we miss wasps i mean we probably would i like i will preface preface this by saying i am fully aware the devastating environmental impacts of suddenly losing an entire species tends to be like everything has its place like if you got rid of all the spiders the increase in population of things like flies would be absolutely insane and we would regret it immediately and not just for that reason for lots of others and holy hell that bloody gaping mouth is terrifying really is though the one thing i do think is krampus gets annihilated all up in here would we miss mosquitoes? Would mosquitoes actually throw an environment out of whack? Because that's, that's maybe the one out of the entire world 
that I can kind of think of that maybe wouldn't do that, you know, that that potentially would be fine. I mean, I'm not aware of that many predators that rely on, like, an over 90% mosquito food source, so potentially mosquitoes? But, like, you know, obviously, this is the question I'm asking you guys. I think I'll reroll all of them. I mean, that's a nice four items to have a go with. Starting with Chaos on Greed Mode is definitely quite the interesting experience. I have a quick little look in here, and that was... Was, uh, pointless, but that's cool. Oh no, we got a spirit heart, so at least that's something. And our item room, we'll take blood clot, but the other two are in fact reroll targets. So we'll immediately do that and then cancel it. So we just get our one single reroll and then onto here. Boom! Ooh, God's flesh we want. 99 bombs, of course we want. That is fantastic in greed mode. Uh, really is. Oh god, the blood eyed host. That is just. Ugh! So yeah, would you use that power? If you had it, would you enact it and choose to wipe a species out? And you know, what would your reasoning be for that? And then let's flip it as well. Let's let's take the flip side and uh, go the opposite direction. You get the same power, you can choose a species. Ooh, I'm going to see how this works. I regret my decision immediately. That is awful. That is so, so awful. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, well, it's not a big deal. But yeah, let, let's flip this. Let's flip this. So you get the ability to choose the species, and then whichever one you choose, no matter what happens, will never go extinct. And, you know, to counter the smart smarts among you, you can't choose humans. You have to choose something that isn't a human species. So what, what species do you make that no matter what happens to this planet on Earth, they survive? Which means that even if the entire planet blows up, Every member of the species is just floating through space, unable to die. Which is actually kind of messed up when you think about it. That's, that's almost torture more than anything. But that would happen for, hopefully, billions of years. Either way, would you choose to immortalize a species? And if so, obviously the question is, which one? Which one would, would have your favor? Eyes in the back of your head might actually be useful with this currently, just just in case. So let's wreck ourselves some bosses as, as I try my best to, but it's kind of difficult because... Uh, hey, the first non-terrifying looking boss! It's Brownie! Isn't that good? Uh, there we go. I am taking a lot of damage though, of course, because I have such a terrible firing method right now. It's just awful. <laughs> Okay, we'll do our Devil Teal, we get ourselves a little bit of Blue Cage, which actually means that now the tankiest boss in the game is tankier than it was before, which is just terrifying to think about. Our Devil Teal, oh, don't mind if I do, Cricket's Head is lovely here. The rest, not so impressed. I'll blow up this guy. And, uh, ooh, get some moolah, that is good. Uh, I think, for me, I would probably immortalize Komodo dragons, because A, they're my favorite animal, but more than that, they are... I think it would be cool to see how they evolve over millions of years, and if they actually become giant death lizards that I so, so want them to be, I really do. So far, hard mode, greed mode, I think is a little bit less brutal than normal mode, but that's obviously because we're getting a lot more items, but I am definitely concerned as to what's going to go down when we find ourselves face to face with greed. That is a definite worry. We'll get some range, which is actually really good here because it means I can spin my tears around a little bit more before I end up having to have them crash to the floor. Ooh, we've got ourselves a second shop for some reason. That's cool, I guess. That, that's definitely necessary. Alright, we'll re-roll the items in here. Boom! Ooh, don't mind if I do. That works. That works for us. That works out. That's that's a sizable improvement if I if I had to say so. It really is. That's that's okay, you know. It's acceptable. We'll blow up these two as well, just in case. Couple red hearts, not actually anything that ridiculous as we are down here on the womb of pain. See, now it doesn't really matter that I'm a tiny planet in, because it basically just means I'm summoning a spinny death wheel on top of my face, which basically just kills everything. And then there's just this occasional one small one that's just rotating around me. Where the hell is it doing that? 
Oh, God. And then the final third part to my little animal thought experiment here is, uh, again, you can choose one species, but this time you choose an extinct species, any single one that we know about, and uh, it gets brought back in all its glory in the places where it used to be relative to the globe. So if it was a land species that lived on a continent that is now ocean, then it would be moved to the land. They wouldn't all just plop into the ocean. So we've had a really unexpected turn of events. There are thousands of T-Rexes dropping into the Atlantic Ocean. What is happening? I did just choose a random ocean. I, I can't remember the ocean closest to where T-Rexes naturally roamed, but still... That would be hilarious and very worrying if you were a sailor, actually, wouldn't it? Like, what the hell is going on? <sighs> Roid Rage, that will do. The range up is obviously great. And now we go for our re-rolling, rolling, rolling. And Lil Gish, we'll take Lil Gish. Why the hell not? The occasional slow might actually come in handy. And no re-roller on this floor. So actually, we are... Ow! You knew it was going to happen, didn't you? Like, the second I was there avoiding it consistently, it was it was always going to happen. It was going to throw down. We know it would. Uh, I don't know if I'm a little bit disappointed with the hard mode, greed mode. I mean, obviously, I did get very powerful very quickly. But even then, I, I do think it's definitely a little bit easy. Like, how would you not get powerful very quickly? And obviously, finding the no trinket was amazing. It really, really was. And to give us the goods, well, at least we got that. And a tinted rock, which we may as well do, because uh, we have all the bombs in the goddamn world. Uh, literally all of them, guys. I, I never thought I should tell you this, but I actually own every bomb in existence. It's quite terrifying, especially to my enemies, because at any point, raw, raw, can happen. And yes, that is the technical term for that. All right, let's get our reroll on and see what we can find. And we keep being offered goddamn uh, various bits of demonic paper. Like, can you chill? That's a spacebar item. I, I feel lied to here. As is that one, game. What are you doing? That is not what we agreed to when I purchased this no trinket. And I didn't purchase it, I guess. I accept that. But can we stop just swapping between books if that's cool? Well, at least Robo Baby showed up. We got that going for us. And nope. Back to books. Okay, that's that's fine. <laughs> Oh, ooh, let's open two golden chests. What's the worst that could happen? And pop and pop. Well, we kind of almost got one of the keys worth back. So we got that going for us, which is nice. Yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate, I will admit. I do like the random scythes that are just going forever. Because I guess technically we do have Sacred Heart, which obviously gives them a little bit of homing. So occasionally one of them breaks free from the pack and tries to murder everything. Which I can definitely respect as, uh, as you know, a secret scythe. Oh god, no, I've spilled my secret! I'm not actually a human! I am a sentient scythe in a skin suit! Please don't tell everyone, please forgive me! Please forgive me for this. Don't tell Danny. <laughs> Can you imagine revealing that to her? <sighs> Honey, I have something to tell you. I am actually a scythe. No! I always knew. Wait, how did you know? Actually, don't answer that question. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got in our devil deal. Uh, not a lot. That's fine, I guess. And really, let's move on. I mean, Chaos has exhausted us pretty quickly. Because obviously, it's, you know, it's really tiring having to be an agent of Chaos. It's just like, ah, I, gotta, I gotta get that. And I know I didn't take things like Black Powder and stuff, but really, do we... Do we care about black powder and stuff? Because I'm thinking that we don't. We'll take that damage up. Why the hell not? Oh, there is a reroll. I did not notice that. Not that I think for a second it's going to give us anything worthwhile. But you never know. We can at least try. And boom. Hey, never mind. I take it back. That's not bad. As is that. That is fine. All right. Keep giving us those sweet, sweet items. Uh, I don't think we need any of them, so that's cool. We can re-roll once more, but we're actually getting a proper selection. Oh, yeah! That has... Yep, there it is. That is incredible. Chocolate milk with Monstro's lung. One of the powerfulest combinations in the game. Sorry, one of the most powerful combinations in the game. Gotta, gotta get my syntax correct all up in here. Otherwise, what am I even doing with my life, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Holy room size with a ring of uh, tears so dense that you can only really see even one of them. That is uh, just wonderful. Did I just get pushed on top of the thing? 
I did, didn't I? That's really, really sad. And then we're only going to have one re-roll when it comes to finding new items. Oh, annihilating envy like that is uh, very, very satisfying. Let's pick up all our moolah. So we'll get two more items down here. Boop! And that is instant regret. Like, so, so very instant. And there goes Widow. And there goes whatever they were. Blue Larry Uni Worms. Oh, that's quite terrifying. Like, all of them blewed up, so they take so much more killing. I'm actually kind of really concerned that we are somehow going to face Blue Ultra Greed. And even with this kind of power, is going to take an insane amount of killing. I know it's pointless to get the mine and stuff, but, you know, we may as well. Hey, never mind. We got ourselves a secret, secret room. Nearly went a little bit too far. Fast. Oh, yeah! That's actually really good. Reroll! Don't care about you. Although I do have to take a little bit of. No, I don't have to take damage. I have Holy Mantle. That's absolutely fine. Reroll! That's a regret instantly, honestly. It's okay. We can do this. We can totally do this. Any item that isn't that. Or that, actually. Any non health up, basically, is what I'm, what I'm throwing down here. And boom! Uh, that will do that because that'll let us charge up really, really quickly, and then our final reroll. Da da do do. It's going to be two breakfasts, isn't it? No, it's not. We can at least get ourselves some moisturize me to face ultra greed with. Isn't that lovely? And vom. Let's do this thing. I don't know. I enjoyed this because it was just a fun uh, greed mode, but I felt the mod really didn't help it. So there you go. That's my that's my advice to this mod. Tune up your yeah, greed mode. I say that before facing ultra greed, and the fact that it's given me two beds beforehand is very suspicious to me. The lamb is the check. All right, that is quite hardcore. I like that. And then uh, here we go. Here we go. It is blue. Oh, I'm still doing lots of damage to it. Moisturize me. No, I will never not do that when that comes. <laughs> Holy hell. Wait, what? When? Why did his health come back? He like, like blipped really down low and... All right, admittedly, the fact that with Scythes, the size of the room being powered by multiple double damage ups is not killing him this quickly, that is ridiculous. Can you imagine fighting this guy with a fairly weak run? Like, holy moly, that would be insane. But as it is, we are about to cleave him in twain. Yes, yeah, so we are. There it is, and blah. Easy, easy, easy. This is how you do it. And goodbye, uh, Ultra Greed. Goodbye. Oh, he even has a little blue statue instead of the golden one. That's nice. I appreciate that. All right, guys. My name has been Rage. Uh, let me know what mods you'd like to see. And like if you've enjoyed this. Subscribe for more. And let me know your animal choices. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Boy.